I've got another winter sewing tutorial for you that today we're going to do how to winter sow cilantro seeds. Um, I just did a video that I'm uploading right now on how to winter sow peppers and tomatoes, so make sure you look for that one. And um, everyone's a little different. Not everyone. Some of them are similar, and I'll tell you which ones. But today we're doing cilantro. Um, before I do that, I wanted to tell you two things. First off, if you want to learn to winter sow and grow seedlings in the snow, you want to join our winter sowing group. Even if it's past winter, you want to get in there now and learn the method so you can get started uh, in the next season. And some people are doing winter sowing all year round. So uh, drop the link below. It's something like winter sowing dot veg gar vegetable gardening with Cheryl or something like that. I'll have a link down below. Also join the uh, YouTube channel. Subscribe to the YouTube channel um, if you're not already subscribed. So that's a, those are my messages. And now let's dig in, into cilantro. Okay. Now, the tomatoes and peppers, they when I when I sow those seeds, I just do like four, five, six in a pot, very separate. Cilantro is very different. I tried that the first two years. I'm a big cilantro lover, so I planted quite a few of them. And I would try and I'd put in, like this is a two-gallon pop bottle right here, a two-liter pop bottle. So I would put like a seed, a seed, maybe two seeds in, in four, four holes in the container. Well, what I found out is that one seed grows into one long strand of cilantro, maybe two. I thought it would grow into a whole bush. It doesn't. It likes to have a lot of seeds together. It likes to cluster together. So for cilantro, I cluster. You can see I've already poured the seeds in there. Now, I actually would like to do more, but this, uh, this pack of seeds was from 2014, and I didn't really want to mix them. I could with my 2015 seeds. These were seeds saved from my plants. And it's absolutely my favorite brand or variety. It's called Santo, S-A-N-T-O. That was from 2014, and it's slow to bolt. It's actually called Santo Slow Bolt Cilantro. Now, it says nuns on there. Once a year, we have this big organic plant sale, and it's out in this uh, big reserve, and it's run by nuns, and they do like tens of thousands of organic plants, heirloom plants. And that's where I got the Santo for the first time was one of their plants, and so I'm just going to keep it going generation after generation. So look at all those seeds I sprinkled. You could even go heavier, but this is good. Now, if you'll remember from the other video, I took my pen and I just tapped them, the soil over them. Well, I'm not going to do that for here because there's so many. Um, I'll show you what I'm going to do in a second. Here are my other seeds that I saved from 2015. I've already given quite a few of them away, but that will probably be enough for two milk jugs right there. And that's the Santo again. And this one I just got at the health food store because I had run out of the Santo. And that's by, um, what's the brand? Botanical Interests. Heirloom Organic, I think. So we'll try that one. It says long standing, but it doesn't say slow, bolt, slow to bolt. But that's a big old package too. That's a 12-gram package. Um, so I'm going to have a ton of cilantro. And I am going to stagger it. So this is March, what are we at? March 10th. And I'll probably be putting out more cilantro at the end of March, middle of April. I'll just keep staggering it. And um, I'll probably get it growing all the way through the summer into the fall. It slows down in the heat, but it does not stop. I don't know. A lot of people say there's stops in the heat, but mine doesn't. And it gets really hot here, too. So what I'm going to do is I got a cup of just a fairly dry potting mix. And let me pull out that uh, note Let's see if you can see. So I'm just going to go super light, cover the seeds. Same thing here. Making a mess. Super light. Okay. Now, I forgot to mention that when I put my soil in, you've seen this in the other videos, I pour my Fox Farm Organic Happy Frog in here, and I soak it with about two gallons of water. It's just a tub. So it's really wet. Focus there. And then I take it and I put it in the container and I spray it. I got this super duper spray bottle and I spray the soil again. Then I put the seeds on, which I didn't do this time, and I spray the seeds again. And then lastly, now that I've sprinkled all that on, I'm going to soak it because I didn't soak the seeds before I covered them with soil. So I'll do more off camera. But I mean, I really give them a bath because I'm not going to be watering them for a good month and a half. They're just going to have to count on rain and snow. And if I have to, of course, I will water them. But I want them to go out there just super moist and super sunk in. Okay. So that was probably a little more soil than I needed. I just needed a dusting. You only want to put 
um, twice the the width of the height of the seed. So if the seed's like one millimeter, you go two millimeters deep on the soil. So I probably went a little deep, uh, but that's okay. I know it'll survive. So that is how you winter sow cilantro. And then this will come up and it'll just be a whole big bunch, which is what I like. And not these little strands that never really got going. So then you'll take this whole bunch. Now there are two ways you can do it. Well, there's three ways you can do it, but uh, you know, I wouldn't recommend separating each one out. That's one way you could do it and transplanting each little seed on its own. No way. You either take the whole pot, cut the container off, like with this one, I wouldn't have to cut the container off. I could literally take a stick of fork or a um, uh, shovel just right down in there, or even my hand, and just scoop the whole thing out and transplant it into its final uh, container. I'm a container gardener, so I put everything in tubs, raised beds, or five-gallon buckets. So that would be their final resting home. But you could also put them, of course, in ground or in, with an, any other method that you're using. Um, so that's how I would take it, take them out and keep them as one lump. Oh, so you would either take one lump or you can take them out and take them in chunks, like maybe one, two, three out of this container. And then you could transplant one chunk here in one pot, one chunk in, you know, in this area, and then they'll kind of spread out and grow just fine. But don't do them individually. So this one I'll definitely just keep as a, a big hunk of seeds. Oh, that's what people call the technique is hunk of seeds. Take the whole hunk out and put it all together, and the roots will be fine. The transfer will be just fine. Um, I think that's it. Don't forget to go down in the description and join the Winter Sewing Group. Join YouTube, get your own channel for free if you don't have one. That way you can really interact with the channel, make comments, and uh, click like and that kind of thing. And a like is always appreciated. Give us a thumbs up. And I think that's it. Back to my winter sewing. See you on the next video. Sending you much love from my sunroom today instead of my garden uh, to you. Take care. Bye.